Hello! Good morning, students! Isa na namang magandang araw sa inyo. Ito ang lesson natin ng Grade 9 Science Week 3. At ngayon, isa na namang lesson ang pag-aaralan natin. Pero bago tayo dumating doon, tingnan muna natin ang lesson natin nung nakaraan. In projectile motion, let us consider and not forget that velocity in x direction is constant and velocity in y direction is changing to its position. And for our objectives, we are going to relate the impulse and momentum to collision of objects. And we are going to infer the total momentum before and after collision is equal. So are you ready? Get your pens, jot down notes, and keep on watching! What do you mean by momentum? Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng momentum? First, Momentum is a measure of one's motion. Second, it is the product of mass and velocity. Third, it is also known as the transitional momentum and linear momentum. Momentum is mass in motion. Depends upon the variables, mass, and velocity. It is also a vector quantity. All objects in motion possess momentum. The amount of momentum depends on two variables. And these are how much the object is moving, which is the mass, how fast the object is moving, which is the velocity. So therefore, momentum simply means mass in motion. Mathematically, it is expressed as P is equals to M times V, where P is the momentum in kilograms times meter per second, and M is equals to mass of moving object or in kilogram, and V stands for velocity of the moving object in meter per second. Isipin mo na lang ang dalawang sasakyang ito na may parehong bilis o yung tinatawag nating speed. Alin kaya sa kanilang dalawa ang madaling huminto at bakit? Kung ang sagot mo ay ang bus, tama ka! O class, tatandaan, the bus has the greater momentum. Kasi the greater the mass of a moving object, the greater the momentum and the harder it is to stop an object in motion. Ano naman class ang mga dapat tandaan? Things to remember. First, the faster the object is moving, the greater the momentum. Second, the greater the mass of an object, the greater its momentum. And third, the greater the momentum of the object, the harder the object to change motion. Given the information, what is now the momentum of an object that is not moving? Can you guess what? If any object of any mass is not moving, it has a zero momentum since its velocity is zero. To stop a moving object, Force is needed in a given period of time. The force and the time of impact changes the momentum. The change in momentum is called impulse. The impulse experienced by the object equals the change in the momentum of the object. In equation form, force multiplied by time is equal to mass multiplied by change in velocity. Where F is equal to force, T is time, M stands for mass, 
and V is change in velocity. Now, let us look at this sample problem. Consider a cargo truck with a mass of 10,000 kilograms traveling at a velocity of 40 kilometers per hour and a small car against the wall. Which do you think would be more damaging? Let's consider the cargo truck. Let us have the given mass which is equivalent to 10,000 kilograms, velocity at 40 kilometers per hour. Now let us find out the RTF for the mass in motion by using this equation. P is equals to mass times V or P mass in motion is equals to mass times velocity. So here now is the solution. Momentum is equals to 10,000 kilograms times 40 kilometers per hour. So the momentum of the cargo truck is 400,000 kilograms kilometers per hour. So now let us have the small car. We have the given mass is equivalent to 2,000 kilograms. The velocity is equivalent to 40 kilometers per hour. We are going to have or find out the momentum of the small car. Equation is P is equals to mass times velocity. So the momentum of the small car is 80,000 kilogram kph or kilometers per hour. It only proves that the greater the mass of an object, the greater the momentum. Based on the information or calculation, which now is more damaging, the cargo truck or the small car? That's why when we travel, it is important to wear or put on our seat belts. Seat belts helps the body slow down. It also protects your brain and spinal cord. It also restrains the strongest part of your body. And in time of accident, seat belt spreads out the force of collision. I hope you got something today and we are going to continue our lesson on our next video on impulse. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.